Well, hey there, welcome back to another video. My name is Zinder. Today, I will be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make pictures like this. You know, sometimes you'll see like your favorite YouTuber post a thumbnail or something and he'll have his little Minecraft character there and it's like no background, it's like animated and cool looking. So how do you make those? Well, today I will solve all of your problems. If you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, then don't forget to leave a like. And it'd really help out if you tap subscribe and the notification bell, that way you never miss an upload from me. And with that all out of the way, let's hop in. Okay, so the very first step to this is create a pretty sizable screen in Minecraft. So basically a wall of a the same color. I'd recommend the green screen, and that really depends on your your uh, skin type. So if you have a skin like mine where there's like no green in it, then pick the green screen. Now you may be wondering why a green screen? Well, because green is the most different color from your skin color. So that's why you see in real life people using green screens instead of like pink or orange. So if you have a skin like me without any like greens or yellows, then I'd recommend a green screen. But maybe you have like some greens, then pick a blue screen. Whatever color matches you the best. So now we got the green screen out of the way. Now we want to focus on the actual screenshot itself. So we want to take a screenshot of ourselves in front of this green screen. So how are we going to do that? We need to find a good position first, get, you know, get how you want the uh, character to look. So maybe something like this, and then uh, just go ahead and take your screenshot. Now before we take our screenshot, we can actually help out the image a little bit by turning down our FOV. By turning down our FOV to around like 45, this will help our camera focus in on our character and make our image higher quality and look better. So go ahead and take your screenshot. And then once you've done that, you want to change your FOV back to normal. And now we want to go to a Photoshop editor. So flipping over to Google, I've searched up Pixlr E. Now Pixlr E is a very good free photo editor website. And I highly recommend it if you're a beginner or a pro. Pixlr E is what I use to make all my thumbnails and stuff. So search Pixlr E, then we can click right here on Pixlr E. And you can already see that I have some images already edited, you know, like my latest thumbnails and stuff. And actually the thumbnail for this video right here. So go ahead and open up your screenshot. And now we are on a menu sort of like this. Now I actually took my screenshot with my taskbar down here in this little menu. So we're gonna have to fix that. We're gonna have to zoom in a little bit. How do we zoom in? Well, if I try zooming in, I, I can't do anything. I'm clicking right now and I can't do anything. We'll see this little lock, double click it, and that'll unlock this layer. Then we can drag just like that. And boom, now we are focused on my character. And, go, and we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit more and try to get more focused on my character. So something like that, that looks perfect. So we're doing really good right now. All we want to do now is grab our little one select tool right here select on the green press the delete key it'll say this not an image layer so we'll have to click on that and then press delete and boom now go to select deselect or control d and check this out we have a transparent version of our minecraft character doesn't that look cool now we can improve this if we want by going to adjustment or actually filter outer glow and then we can apply like a little white outline and it appears to be out here too that may be an issue but also not anyway we can turn down our feather we can turn down the size a little bit and check that out we have a nice little white outline on our character so to fix this little border out here that we don't like we can just zoom in a little bit more and that should fix things alrighty so that's that's really it we now have a PNG version of our Minecraft character we'll go ahead and save this we'll name it something like transparent ender that'll work and then press download or enter and boom we've got it transparent enter dot png right here now i'll show you guys how to apply this to a thumbnail so let's go all right so sliding over into a different project on pixlr e i just took this screenshot this world may look familiar kind of miss it maybe i should return to it anyway we're gonna want to zoom in on a little bit of this because i took it again with my taskbar on so we'll zoom in go ahead and get rid of all that and now we are left with something like this. So this is looking pretty good right now, right? But we want to add some enhancements to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a little rundown of my thumbnail editing process. So I just applied this little branding I use on my thumbnail right here for the corner. It's uh, pretty nice, made it by myself, just using some triangles and my logo. 
Now we want to go ahead and add some text. Text is always good for a thumbnail. So, I don't know, we'll put like, Endercraft uh, Returns. Something like that, just as an example. Maybe we can mess with the font a little bit. Uh, these are like my generic fonts that I use. My Endercraft font that I used was called Game On. Right here, you may recognize it. We can go ahead and turn it to like, yellow. That'll work. Um, then we'll just pop it up right here in the corner and add a little bit of spacing. So, looking better, right? But we want to add a little bit more. And by a little bit more, I mean our character that we just created. So boom, just like that. And now we have our little character right here. And we can position this however we want. Maybe we could put it on the pathway or in the corner down here. You could literally do whatever you want. There's a little rotate tool here as well. So maybe if we want to add a little bit of realism, if we want to put it on our pathway, we can do that. So something like that. That looks uh, pretty decent, I've got to say. Maybe we'll make it a little smaller. So yeah, overall, this is a pretty good thumbnail. I could definitely use this thumbnail for a video. So that's kind of my process through creating thumbnails and how to create these little green screen characters. Now, I haven't done a whole lot of these green screen characters. And that's mainly because I, I just never can find the uh, right moments where I can use them. But I'll try to start incorporating them a little bit more in my videos. Uh, maybe, if you guys are willing to see that. So yeah, again, Pixlr E is the Photoshop editor that I use. It's a website online. It's completely free to use. Um, yeah, I really like it. All right, that is my process to how to create your very own green screened Minecraft character. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful and maybe share it with your friends. That way I can become more popular. Wouldn't that be great? If you guys want to see more tutorials, then don't forget to leave a like on today's video. That will let me know that you enjoyed the tutorial and want to see more. And if you want to guys hear more from me about my life, then follow my Twitter linked below. Do some pretty awesome stuff over there. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day so far, wherever you may be. That's going to do it for me today, and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.